the Los Angeles Lakers just pulled off a ginormous three-team trade that was absolutely necessary for them to even have a chance of contending for a championship. Now, the Lakers, I thought, have made two very good moves and one questionable move in this deadline, and I'll be getting into those other two moves probably in later videos, but this one is going to be solely focusing on the D'Angelo Russell trade to the Los Angeles Lakers. I'll be breaking down the package, I'll be breaking down all three sides of the trade, and how I think it has improved multiple teams in this deal. So I really hope you do like the video, and if you do like the video, hit the like button and subscribe button to mean the absolute word to me. And without further ado, without rambling on too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so first off, let's get into the trade package itself, which was the fact that the Los Angeles Lakers would go on to get D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jarrett Vanderbilt. The Minnesota Timberwolves would get Mike Conley, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and three second round picks. And the Utah Jazz got Russell Westbrook, Juan Toscano Anderson, and Damian Jones to go along with a 2027 first round pick. So as you can see, a very big trade with a lot of players in it and even involving a lot of picks. And the first side I want to get into is going to be the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers now added a legit third option. Now, yes, I know Russell Westbrook was a third option, but he had to come off their bench and they kind of had to use him in a gimmicky way. But with D'Angelo Russell, I don't think he's going to have the ego that Russell Westbrook is going to have, meaning that D'Lo will gladly take the third option role and become more of a playmaker guy that can score the ball when he absolutely has to. And I think he is going to fit with this team a lot better than someone like Russell Westbrook did, who still has that superstar mindset and doesn't want to take a backseat to anyone. So I think really from an ego perspective and really just a personality perspective, this team is going to work together way, way better. And then on top of that, I also think that them getting Malik Beasley could be a great addition as well, because Malik Beasley is one of the best scoring guys off of anyone's bench, and he can do that at a very high level with the Lakers, and it just adds depth that the Lakers desperately needed, because they really didn't have much of that before this trade deadline. And then also, Jarrett Vanderbilt is another very underrated guy in the league. He is a very good defender who has drastically improved his three-point shot this year, and he has looked like a completely new player, and he is legitimately a solid 3 and D guy who the Lakers love to have, because any contending team loves to have versatile 3 and D guys that can guard the 1-3 through three positions, and that is exactly what you're getting out of Jarrett Vanderbilt, and he's also going to do the 50-50 things like get on the floor, box out, he's going to do all the dirty work as well. So I think overall, the Lakers added a third star that's going to fit better, and two guys that make this team even deeper than they are now. And now moving to the Minnesota Timberwolves side of things, I think that they got a very nice player in Mike Conley, and although I don't think Mike Conley is better than D'Angelo Russell, especially not in their current points of their career, I do think he fits this team better than what D'Lo did. Because D'Lo and Anthony Edwards, that's just a very weird dynamic, and I don't think they were ever going to really be able to work together, as they're both kind of score first guys, but I do think that Mike Conley, at this point in his career especially, although he can still score the ball, is way more of a facilitator, defensive guy that's going to be more smart with the ball, and that is exactly what the Timberwolves needed. They needed a guard that doesn't really need to score, it doesn't need the ball in his hand to really impact the game, and I think exactly what Mike Conley is going to do for this team. And I think him and Anthony Edwards are going to fit way better together, and I also think it's going to make life a lot easier for Corinthian Towns and Rudy Gobert, because now they're going to have a guard that's a better passer and going to be able to get them in the ball in better positions as well. So overall, although I don't think Mike Conley is as talented as D'Lo, I think he is a much better fit for how their team is currently constructed. And also, I mean, they had to make a deal because for this team to really build anywhere in the future, D'Lo was the guy that had to go. D'Lo, I'm pretty sure, is in the last year of his contract. Anthony Edwards just signed a huge extension. Rudy Gobert is on a ginormous contract. And Carnathine Towns just signed an extension as well. So it had to be D'Angelo Russell if they wanted to build for the future at all. And that is exactly what they were able to do. And then on top of getting Mike Conley, who's a better fit, they also got Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who although is an inconsistent scorer at times, is one of the best offensive players on the court when he is on. So I think for sure Nikhil Alexander-Walker off their bench can kind of help replace what they lost in trading away D'Angelo Russell. Now obviously, obviously not as good as D'Angelo Russell, but he is still kind of plays the same way. And then obviously they also got three second round picks, which is always nice to have in the meantime you can get some sort of draft capital for the future. And lastly, going to the Utah Jazz, I think the Utah Jazz were pretty much thinking, look, we're not going to win anything this year, even if we make the play-in or the playoffs, so let's just try to get a little bit worse, maybe add some young talent, get get a pick for the future, and just really build for our future, because that is exactly what they did. Because yes, they added Russell Westbrook, but there's already people saying that he is going to get bought out, and I, that's what I would imagine they're going to do, because he really wouldn't fit with his team at all, so they are going to buy Russell Westbrook out, so he's basically going to be a non-factor of this trade, but 
then they also added guys like Juan Descano Anderson, who although hasn't done much in his career to this point, he has shown a few flashes as well. So I think Juan Descano Anderson could be one of those project guys that they love to have because Utah has already shown with guys like Laurie Marketing, uh, even Jarrett Vanderbilt, Malik Beasley, they take in these young guys that are like okay, like they have potential, but they're not really there yet and they kind of develop them and that is exactly what Utah has done with their current roster and there's no saying that they can't do the same with Juan and Damian Jones on this team. So I do think both of them could probably be pretty interesting project players and maybe even be significant parts of the rotation once they get into like the development and develop a little bit with this team. So I think for sure those two guys could be very nice projects for this team. And then also obviously they get a 2027 first round pick. No telling how good or bad that's going to be so far in the future. But anytime you can get a first round pick, that is huge, especially for a team that is looking more for future success than success in the current time right now. So overall, I think the Lakers got better as a team. They got deeper and overall just a better team the Timberwolves I think they got a better fit they're probably going to play a little bit better together give it a few weeks and I think this team is going to look better than they have all year and then Utah they got what they wanted they de they developed their future they got a few young guys they can try to develop and overall I think every team kind of got it what they wanted in this trade but unfortunately, guys, that's more for this video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that the Lakers won? Do you think the Timberwolves won? Do you think Utah won? I want your thoughts in the comment section below. And did they like the point? Hit the like button and the subscribe button. It means the absolute word to me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Because I had a blessed day. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah, blah, blah.